So you're using Dropbox to store some of your company data, but you're also using Microsoft 365 for email and Teams. And you want to move your Dropbox data into OneDrive and SharePoint. How hard can it be? Well, it's actually pretty easy. And that is the topic for today's video. Now, before I get too knee deep into today's content, I just want to make an announcement. What I'm about to show you only applies for Dropbox business accounts. Unfortunately, it won't work on personal accounts. Now, I don't know if this is a Dropbox thing or a Microsoft thing, but it's a thing. So without further ado, let's jump onto that PC behind me and I'll show you how to move your documents from Dropbox into Microsoft 365. So the first thing to know is that this migration manager only works with the Dropbox business plans. It doesn't work with the personal ones, which is a little bit of a shame. So I've just got a trial Dropbox business account. I've got a couple of folders here. Uh, in test folder one, we've got some invoices. In test folder two, we've got a CSV file. So I'll be showing you how to migrate data using these Dropbox files. So I'll go back to the Microsoft 365. Now I need to be logged into the admin portal. So I've logged into portal.office.com and you can see that I've got access to the admin portal there. So I'll launch that. And once I've done that, I'm just gonna click on here and show all. This will show me all the admin centers. And I'll scroll down and the admin center I want is the SharePoint one. Okay, if I just click on active sites, again, this is a test Microsoft 365 tenant just for the purpose of this video. So we've not got lots and lots of active sites. Microsoft have created as a team site, which is called All Company. So if I go into there, click into All Company, you can see here, I've got the standard document library. And I've also created another document library called Dropbox Migration. So we're gonna migrate all those folders from Dropbox into this document library here. So how are we gonna do that? Well, the first thing is, let's go back to the SharePoint Admin Center and let's click on Migration. Now you can see that the Migration Manager works with all these different sources. So if you've got a server in your office and you want to migrate the data from the server into SharePoint, you can use this here, Google Workspace, Box, but obviously the one we want is Dropbox. So we'll click on Get Started. Then it's gonna try and connect to Dropbox. Okay, so we click on connect to Dropbox and we click on sign in to Dropbox. Now, because I'm already signed in, it's not asked me to put in my username and password. It's just basically Microsoft is asking if it's got permission to do a variety of things. I'm going to click on allow. Now you can see it's connected to Dropbox. So I'll click on finish here. So once it's connected, we go to folders and we click on add folders. Now we've got a few options. We can scan all Dropbox, all team members and all members folders, single folders, if we specify what it is, or multiple specific folders. What I'm gonna do is just choose this top one here and click on add. Now you can see it's loading the Dropbox folders. Now if I scroll down to the bottom here, you can see it's found some folders here, but the scan status is in progress. So we're gonna just let that run for a few minutes. Now you can see the scan status is now ready to migrate. So these folders are ready to migrate from Dropbox to SharePoint. You can see it's found three folders, 11 files and the size. So I'm gonna click on here um, and then I'm gonna click on copy to folder migrations. We can change some settings here. If we want to exclude any files by extension or by name, we can. I'm just gonna use the default ones, copy to migrations. And then we're ready to go to folder migrations over to folder migrations, you can see here there's no destination. So where do we want these files to migrate to within 365? If we just click on here, it will open up and then we click on edit. So we've got a few options here. We can move the files from Dropbox to OneDrive, to SharePoint or to Teams, okay? So there are your options. I'm gonna click on SharePoint and then it will search, if we just click on here, it will search for all of our SharePoint sites. So if you remember, the one we're using is the all company default. But if you've added some more SharePoint sites, they will appear here. Once I click on there, it's gonna look for all the document libraries within that SharePoint site. Or we've got an option at this stage to create a new library. But you can see my Dropbox migration document library is there. So I'm gonna click on there. Again, I can create folders within there, but I'm not gonna bother. 
I'll just click on Save Path. And now we're ready to migrate. So again, ensure this is ticked and just simply click on Migrate. Click on Migrate here. And that has now started migrating the documents. So I've left that for about five minutes and I've come back here and we can see the migration status is completed. It's copied 11 files over. The total size of all the files it's, it's copied over. So that looks like a good migration to me. So let me just head back to my SharePoint site. And you can see here, you see, uh, already my folders and my files are all here. So you can see it's as simple as that to migrate from Dropbox into SharePoint or into Microsoft 365. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. As you can see, it's really easy to get your data from Dropbox into OneDrive and SharePoint. I look forward to seeing you again soon.